to another video. So um, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm just heating up the leftover shakshuka from yesterday, just heating that up in the pan, softening the chickpeas a little bit more as well. And I'm going to be utilising that today to make um, a one pot chicken stew. So I've got some chicken thighs here, I've got uh, two white onions, I've got a small swede that I've uh, partially chopped up already, uh, one carrot, half a sweet potato, a lemon, and obviously my, my, my goodie bag full of leftover cauliflower, um, stalks, a bit of onion in there and celery. Uh, I've got like a, a nice bit of fresh thyme, some ground nutmeg, um, carrot powder as well, and I just thought I'd put in some spinach flakes got some vegetable stock and chicken stock. Um, okay, so what I do, I've pre-boiled the kettle, so I just put a little bit more water in this shakshuka there, that's fine. It's gonna be a very simple one pot meal, this. So all I'm gonna be doing is putting everything in one big pot. So let's just heat that up. A tiny bit of rapeseed oil in there, okay. Don't need to put any additional garlic in here because the shakshuka has got plenty of uh, flavour to it already. So I'm just going to roughly chop the, these two onions. I'm going to slow cook this um, stew right down so it doesn't. It, all the vegetables can be quite chunky, so you know after after an hour and a half, I would say, then everything's going to be really nice and soft and. All the flavours are just gonna gonna be there basically. So again, the swede I chop up maybe like into small, slightly smaller chunks because it's uh, quite a dense root vegetable. Um, but these swedes or root vegetables in general, they you know they not they keep really well. You know, just keep them in the fridge or in the dark on a bit of slate or something. You know, keep them cool in the larder, then they, they last for a long time. Okay, and really good for you as well. Okay, so just roughly chopping them. Give that, we'll turn that off the heat now, that shut sheet, but that's nicely uh, heat warmed up now. Give the onions a little bit of a stir. What I do is I just put whack the chicken in there. What I want to do is get a little bit of um, colour on the chicken uh, thigh skin. Okay, I mean it will all fall off the bone anyway, but it's nice to actually just get a bit of colour on the skin, you know. Some people don't like the skin, but I think it just adds a bit of flavour in there anyway. You don't necessarily have to eat it. You can pick it out of the stew later. And the bones, obviously. And if you're ever making like a, you know, like a roast dinner, um, with a whole bag, then use the leftover carcass to make a nice uh, fresh chicken stock. And you can always freeze that stock. And again, to make a chicken stock, or any kind of like bird stock, then um, boil up the bones with like any vegetables or whatever you've got in there, um, and uh, let it cool down. With, well, we'll put some hot water in there, let it cool down, and then just basically uh, freeze it in some Tupperware. And it'll last for a long time. Roughly chop the carrot there, sweet potato. I'm going to leave that for a second. What I'll do is I'll squeeze a bit of lemon on that. Just 
Just make sure you gather all the pips in between, like your hands. Yeah, if you don't want any of those bits and pips uh, in your stew. Lemon and thyme always go well with chicken. Yeah, I mean, traditionally, like, you know, stews actually have potatoes in there, but I've got enough root vegetables, enough carby um, vegetables in there with the chickpeas and stuff. I don't want it to be too heavy, you know. But again, stews are great because you can just utilise whatever, whatever you've got in the fridge and it will just uh, taste, taste nice, you know. Okay. What I do is I put in these root vegetables now. We're not even cooking these, we're just putting everything in the pot at the moment. And then all the stock will go on top and then when I put the lid on, that's what will cook it all. Put it down nicely. Put the shak shunka in there. I might not use all of this. Um, that's it. I might save some for maybe lunch tomorrow. Yeah, put a dash more. That's it. I'll leave, um, leave that for tomorrow's lunch. So that's made quite a few meals. That had two meals out of that, plus uh, it's adding a bit extra. You know, ingredient to the stew, and then I'll get like a lunch out of that or again. So it's very good, very good. It goes a long way. Okay, that's looking good. And now I'm going to just add these additional leftover like um, vegetables. Okay, I'm just going to bung it all in there. Just roughly chop it all up. You won't even notice what's what by the time it's all cooked down for an hour and a half, believe me. quick this is super quick meal you don't even you know it's really just in the prep work here Look at all the chickens at the bottom there so it's obviously that's going to get nice and soft and then what I'll do is I'll put a good handful of thyme in there just sort of like roughly tear it up doesn't really matter how you're doing it Got a very generous bag of time, so don't want to waste this. But what you can do, obviously, keep it in the fridge first of all. But then after a while, it starts to sweat in the packet. Then you can just tie a rubber band around it and then leave it out or hang it up, and it will just dry out naturally anyway. So I'm just going to put a bit, a bit of this um, carrot powder in. Yeah, just a bit of that, a bit of goodness, natural carrot powder. Natural dried spinach leaves. That's like a heat, heat tablespoon, and then like a level one of that, and some nutmeg, probably like a teaspoon. Of this. Yeah, not too much. Quite clear some nutmeg. Okay, some cracked pepper. I think go in there. Coarsely ground black pepper as well. Not fine. A generous, a generous crack of that. Okay. And then the last thing to go in is uh, these stocks. So we've got a vegetable stock here. Just pour all of that in. Here it goes. And then the chicken stock. And that literally fills up the pot with maybe like a two inches below the surface. Just gives it a bit of expansion space as it's bubbling away. And that, and just 
make sure you submerge everything in there. Just give it a whiz around, especially the spices. That's it. Just give it a little stir. A little, almost a little poke. Yeah, and that's it. Job's done. Just give you a little bit. Show you, show you that, actually. If I can show you. That's it. So what I do is I leave that for 45 minutes and then uh, check it, give it a stir, leave it for another 45 minutes, check it again, see what, see what it's like and I'll show you a picture once it's plated up. Put the lid on, that's it.